Hey, yo. Welcome back. Why you, why you always say my fucking line? Because I can't. Whatever, man. Welcome back. This is Uncensored Locks. Black Convo. Yellow Bastard. Come <laughs> on. That nigga, All my fans. That nigga, that nigga feel lovely today. All right. Anyway, let's get, let's get serious. We're going to talk about the topic where um they found 95 bodies, dead bodies, in in Texas when they're building like a technical school or some shit like that. And they find out there were slaves that were buried there, like, since 1910, 18, some shit, like, way back then, of obviously during the slavery times. And as we watch the story, and we do research, we come to find out that the fact that these, these people were alone, I guess you want to call it? Because after slavery, you know, after slavery ended, there was no more slavery, per se. But if you're a prisoner... You were technically a slave, so they basically these private like plantations or farms or businesses would go to the jailhouse and ask people to basically run a slave, right? Basically, so from basically, the prisons. Yeah, they go to prison. And they, yeah, basically. So these people were found. You know what I mean, and it just brings a history of like what what we went through. Well, not me personally, but what our ancestors went through back then, and. It brings up a question about who really built America. I mean, so we know that America is a melting pot and all this other stuff, but we can tell from a, a a good period of time that slaves were around, and when we were around, we were basically the the bell cow. We did everything. We were the cooks. We were the handymen. We were everything. Everything. We was y'all babysitters, cooks. We sold y'all fucking clothes. Y'all did nothing. You sat we back and just gardening. reaped the benefits of, of black people, Chinese people, because believe it or not, black people wasn't the only slaves. Right. They Very had, true. They Facts. had, they Facts. had um, Chinese people were slaves too. They went and got Chinese because who else was going to build a railroad? We wasn't, I'm, I'm not saying that we wasn't smart capable, enough, right? but, but we just wasn't capable of that back then. You feel what I'm saying? Our shit was more cotton and doing their housework and shit like that. Right. So they went and they got them. The colonizer went over there, got them, brought them back here. When they brought them back here, they used them for that. See, they all, they, they, they don't want to do anything. They always need, even to this day, a colonizer will go hire a maid to come and clean their house, bro. To clean their house. Right. Right? Or go hire, a colonizer hire a fucking... A, a, a nanny right. to watch their fucking kids right. when they're, they're in the other room. Nigga. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they don't do anything and it's still embedded in them today not to do anything. They want everybody to do things for them and they want to reap the benefits of that shit. So, basically what we're... And believe it or not, we still slaves today. Right. We Rich, just don't obviously. realize it well, We're all slaves in some kind of different forms, but the, the topic that we're talking about is like, who really built America? So, the fact that we sit back and we look at the position we're in Almost 340 years later, and the fact that we're still in a position of not even close to being equality. You feel me? It's not even close. So I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head. The, I was talking about it before, whatever. But how can how can this be fixed? How can this be whatever you want to call can't it? Be, so it can never it, be. Fixed. It can never be fixed. But Gina, Gina yeah. had look well, because I heard somebody make a great fucking point. Go ahead. Marcus Garvey tried to get all of us out of here. Out of here. Right. Right? You know what them crackers was like, no, nah, you can't do that. No. Right. Because if Marcus Garvey would have took us out of here, who's going to do the work for them? Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So we can't even leave. They're not going to allow us to, dog. They're going to always need minorities here. Go Period. Go for not, not only blacks, they're but, always going to need us. But my thing, why, why is the white, quote unquote, people the hierarchy? What got in there? Obviously, because they the ones who always, since back in the day, sat back like this with their feet up right. while we did the work, and, we still and they're reaping the benefits. And we still feeling that shit. That and we, and we still doing it today. Right. It's just different forms of the shit. So my point is, nothing stays the same forever. Everything fucking evolves, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And it just evolved into what you see today. But I'm saying, you got you got people in the music industry that are slaves. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. They can't leave the record label until <laughs> they, they meet a quota. Right. That's, a, that's some slave shit. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Me and you are a slave, nigga. We got to get up and go to this fucking job every fucking day right. and help out there and do whatever the fuck we're doing. Because if not, that's the only way we get paid. 
You feel what I'm saying? How them slaves ate back in the days? How they used to eat? They the, had the to work, shit, and them. they got the leftover right. shit. Whatever was left, that's what. So it's the, it's a, just a different form, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But do you feel like what is? Regina said something very like funny to me because obviously the population is people on welfare and food stamps and stuff like that, huh? I'm going to. So when you look at the, what the fuck was that? Dog? I said so because I tried to say it right. earlier and I got cut off. What ended that shit out? That was why, Jen. Go ahead. So when you look at the uh, financial gap between whites and minorities, and you ask, well, um, that video that went out with the lady who was upset about someone saying on the phone that they wanted to sell the food stamps, <clears throat> and people was like, oh well mind her business and she the other side was well she pays her taxes so she has the right to be upset about it but no when we talk right. about no at all absolutely all right. and then when you talk about reparation the, i look at government assistance and i say could that not have been a white man's conscience saying well the reason that they don't have shit is because they build it all for us, so we're gonna give you the bare minimum for you no, to that ain't survive. That ain't you know, I know, but I'm saying in the sense of it. So when you look at government assistance, not even in the sense. Hmm. When you look at government assistance, if we built America, the only way they have that to give us that wealth to lend to us was because of us, because right. we gave that to them. They didn't have food and crop to sell if we didn't grow it and we didn't harvest it. They didn't have cotton to sell that we didn't pick. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Like I said earlier, we ain't the only, um, we're not the only slaves. You weren't the only slaves, right? Of course. But we are the only ones that were slaves. We're the only minority that, that were slaves that sit here be crying and bawling about some fucking reparations, bro. You can that shit. You don't hear no other person that was a slave in America screaming that shit. No other race. We the only ones. You know why? Because they're not sitting there dwelling on that, oh, we should get paid back for what they did to us. No, fuck that. We're going to go out there and we're going to make it happen. Okay, you know but it make it happen with what? The possibility Yo, of bro, you got to take what's given to you and you got to roll with the fucking punches. You got fucking well, people here that are question. lazy that won't even get up off their ass. They're going to make question. something happen That's for themselves. That's very true. That's very true. We're not when, you look at, when you look at China... And people look at them and think they, they're poor and they're this and that. When most of the stuff that we have come from what? China. China. You don't China, see right? their fucking they head. smart as shit. They got a big goddamn brain in that motherfucker. Listen. Their head, right? Now, like you said, they were slaves. Now, you don't have in China other Chinese men holding the China mm. back. They're trying to prosper. So when you say that they're not complaining, you know why? Because they have that chance to still do something. In America, blacks are still being, minorities are still being held back. Let me no correct matter you. how much Let me you do, you. there's still that wall. That Let me stomach. correct you. Let me correct you. You know why they feel like that? Because they can leave from here and go to their fucking country. We can't do that. Can we go back to Africa? Yes, we Yo, can. They, no, we can't. They won't even. They won't respect you over there. The African that comes from over there mm -hmm. won't respect you, nigga. But isn't it the same way around? We what you mean? Them. Do we respect them when we, they come over here? How we don't respect Make them when we sit here screaming? African no, how shit? we? That was dog. When, that's when you're a child. When you okay. grown, you don't think like that, bro. Sure. Because you ain't walking around here right now. No. And you ain't walking around here and they're calling no motherfucking right. African booty skirt. You ain't saying but that. I'm saying that the perception of them. It wasn't like a negative perception. All right, why that? is everybody screaming, let's go back to Africa? Where the fuck that came? Because, nigga, I wasn't born there. And I don't know, there ain't none of my family African, nigga. Right. But what I'm saying is, God damn it, man. They, them motherfuckers could go back. Chinese, they could go back to the, they could go back. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And they could get embraced. Even though they're American, go they will still get embraced. Go you feel what I'm saying? When the Mexican leave from Mexico and come here to make a life, and when he's ready to go back, he gets embraced. right. right. Let you go to Africa right now, or you go to Africa right now. They're not embracing you, bro. They don't even want you there, bro. So, so they don't even look at you so, like them. They look at you like you're not even one of them. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So you rather stay where you at, where you know. I'm not even saying that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm right. saying is to, to to what she was saying. 
that oh the China man feel like this like you feel what I'm saying what right. you saying to how the how the, when they yeah, they have that support they don't have anyone holding them they don't have any because the I feel like they can always leave from here and they can always go back home they can use this money that they get from here go okay. back home and, yeah, and make us yeah. and build something we can't do that we can't leave from here and go back to no fucking Africa bro who you know over there who you know over there I don't know nobody in Africa I don't have family over there so I can't go over there and just. Dropping that shit and laying it. No, but why not though? Is it is it like the fear of known? Like I know what's, what I'm going to. It's not even. It's not even. I don't. I don't what, feel what like is it that, bro. Why no, is it, bro? Like I say, they don't respect you and they don't respect me. We're not like they don't feel like we wanted them. So we ain't going like, through okay. it. Our struggle is not with a daily African get up and go through every day. It's not but what we going. But didn't have some some sort of. Like similar to racism in their country called apartheid or something like that. Yeah, that they have racism, like. but their racism so. is totally different from our, like I like I said before. I don't like I told somebody today, nigga. Everywhere in this motherfucking planet that we call Earth, bro, America is the only place that deals with racism the way it does, bro. Mm. I feel like the way it does because the this type of racism you don't hear coming from France. Or ger like Germany or England, or you don't hear none of this shit come from none of these places. We don't hear it because we're not over there. What you mean? So you, you you don't watch international news? Well, okay. Cause CNN well, talk bro. about shit from everywhere, yeah, bro. Yeah, they pick and choose what they want to talk about. Yes, talk yeah, about, yeah, yeah. I give you yeah, that. They you do. You don't talk about the real shit. But we don't know because even remember when Trevor Noah made the comment about the the African, the French people on the African team. Yeah. How the French people was going at him talk about oh. Don't say that shit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, had a problem with him saying that they're Africans who are playing for France. Why? Because he feel like, oh, the Africans won the World Cup, but not really, like... But they, 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 that's the what, reason that's, why they felt like that is because you them feel dudes me? are... They, they're from France, bro. They're, they're, they're from that... That is their background. But they have... African but they have as, African in them exactly. because they're black. So at the same time, I still support them. Either fuck you. I don't give but a, that goes back to what I'm trying to tell you. Support. That's what I was what trying to say. You understand? You, you, you support, get what I'm saying? Support each other in the country. Period, dog. Like, period, dog. Like, we need to support each other here. Like, let's, let's, all right. Yeah, because that, exactly. That's exactly what the fuck I'm saying. We need to support each other here because right. it's not like we can pack up and go back right. over there, Word. nigga. Word. We stuck here. Right. 